Hello, Luigi Noids. This is Luigi X Rules playing. Oh, I guess we're going in. Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last episode, we explored all of the, pretty much all of this Route 212. It's a pretty big one. And in this episode, we are inside the Pokemon Mansion, just because I wanted to check it out. This is the way out to the trophy garden. The garden is open for all visitors to enjoy. Hope you're pleased, beware. Hot Pokemon may appear in the garden. Ooh, so we got a special trophy garden. Wonder what's at the end of it. Wow, is this really all we can get to explore? That is not at all what I wanted to do. Yeah, I guess this trophy garden doesn't seem to have too many trophies in it yet. So... How many side rooms are there? I'm not looking off. I'm just taking a personal break. I like your hair. Nice and green. Oh boy. I'm so sorry. Everything beyond this point is secret and off limits. I'm guessing that's probably going to be true for a while now. Oh yay, great ball. And what the heck is on the TV? We bring you this breaking news story. While traveling in the vicinity of Route 212, Weejax Rules discovered the hidden hyper potion. Mythology employed by Legix Rules is unknown. Eyewitness report. Eyewitnesses report Legix Rules appear to be very furtive. Legix Rules reportedly scan the area often as a fearing detection. This concludes a special news. That. I don't like that news story. Let me have her. You know how you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden? Put this on a caught Pokemon and it warms up to you faster. I'll share one with you, so give it a try. Ooh, yeah, Soothe Bell. I think we got a. Um, a shoal bell or something. A while back. What are these? Alright, uh, I guess they don't say anything. Mr. Backlot is the master of this house. This is his office. Alright, Mr. Backlot. Hello, hello. Welcome to my opulent mansion. <clears throat> There's a lot for me to be proud of inside the and outside of this home. But what makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted to my garden? To come to me! You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden! Master actually quite enjoys showing his prize, prize garden to strong trainers. Maybe I'm not a strong trainer yet. I'm very sorry, but please return to bring me to the statue. Well, that's suspicious. Anyway, we found the TM for Swagger. I'm not sure if we've seen what that does. Um, sharply raises attack, but also confuses the target. And then, yeah, everything that's beyond that point is off limits. Alright, well, I will say this Pokemon mansion is mighty sus, but we we'll might have to remember it if that statue is off limits. Yeah, we'll get Pulpit. How are you doing, Pulpit? <laughs> he looks very interested, but very interested in what? May I ask? Anyway, I guess um, I don't have to walk there, but... Eh, might as well. Just do a little walk. And now we're back in Heart Home. Now, if we looked at the badge case, it kind of looked like um, Fantina was uh, the next gym leader, didn't it? But it's not telling us to go to the gym yet, so maybe we can't go there yet. Celestic Town. So maybe we have to go to Celestic Town first, in which case we should probably... Um... Can I work there? No. Alright. So let's go to Celestian Town and go back up to the side of... Maybe buy some more Moo milk while we're there. Oh yeah, we're here. Let's pick up some Moo Moo milk. I will take 10. Hopefully that'll top us off for the rest of all time. I feel like it's been a while since we've been to Pokemon Center. Oh well. It's just to tell you along this route. Hello, Psyduck. Jenny Fern, they aren't going to remove at all. Let's use the secret medicine. Psyduck appear to be cured of their chronic headache. And now they're wandering around, and they're leaving. Alright, 
they have left? Oh, there she is. Oh, good. I used the secret medicine I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yes. Can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. Um, sure. Alright. My grandma has this sort of bossy air about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. As for the location, look on her down there. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Looks like we got another route to explore. Route 200... Hang on, is this a new route? Looks like... It looks like it is, because I think this... Oh, maybe it's just part of Route 210. But according to that, um... There should in theory be some new rare Pokemon up here. Nice, and a super repel. I wonder what's in the middle there. There's the one. Nice, Ether. Decent item. Whoa! I'm with a ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Oh, the boy. Ninja boy Brennan. Oh, hey, our first trainer that has a Skorupi. And down goes Ninja Boy Brennan. I can see defeat. Well, I hadn't tall grass. I sensed all Pokemon all around. Word of sounds of movement. Stifle cries. I heard them. That's the second time this episode we've heard the word furtive. And that I find extremely odd. I wonder if anything happens when we find all three of these Ninja Trio. Is there one over here? Kind of like shadow. Yeah. I'm with a ninja trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Oh gosh, Fabian has three. But he has two. Yeah, Paul, 35. Everyone's throwing fire spin. 35 power, 85 accuracy, special move. Does leave a vortex, but that's not worth it. And there goes Fabian. I can see the bee. My cover is blown, so what should I do? Oh no, cats are super cocky. That shows in hard home state. Maybe I'll do that. I wonder where the other of the ninja trio is. I'll take this hyper potion for now, though. Hello, the ninja trio guy. You anyway? There he is. I'm one of the ninja trio. How did you discover me? Bruce with a stunky. I can see defeat. You all can see defeat. Well, I defeated all three of them. Now what? My Pokemon trainer's good at finding stuff, I guess. Yeah, I guess I am good at finding little boys hiding in bushes. What? I don't know hidden items, like anywhere. Are there any regular items? Oh. There is... 
Ultra Ball! Better Pokeball. Even better than a Great Ball. Ooh. Okay. This area is all foggy. But, we do have an HM that helps with that. Thank you, Wild Star After, for using Defog. Now you can see. If I can just hit him with Defog, I'd clear up this weather. Two laps, laps of the Staravia's wing. How's Defog work, you ask? Bird Pokemon flap their wings to blog, blow the fog away. Nice. Contextual explanation. What? Another Ninja Boy. I just thought I'd, while you're struggling to recover, I'll already be the winner. Oh boy, four Pokemon. Yeah, Joy-Con drifts with the level up. And Shinky's leveled up. Ooh, this might be our first goal bat. Evolution of Zubat. Still poison flying, or probably flying poison. Who knows? Anyway, it still goes down and spark. And down goes Ninja Boy Joel. What's up with you? You didn't give me any openings! That's not how this works, kid. Oh! Joy-Con Drift is evolving! We only got him, but we got him at a close enough level to his evolution, I guess. Now... We have another fully evolved team member! Drift Blim! So Joy-Con Drift still works. It carries people and Pokémon when it flies. Since it only drifts, it can end up anywhere. Wants to learn Phantom Force? <laughs> what the heck? It's a physical move. Isn't your physical attack like not very good? If it vanishes somewhere, then strikes the target on the next turn. It hits even if the target protects itself. All right, I don't think I need Hex, so I guess we can have it. Just to have it. But anyway, if you don't like it, dig. It works like dig. There's Cut it. Oh. Got a trainer. As an ace trainer, I have to take battle something. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Ace trainers are more powerful trainers, so let's see what you got. Trainer Alyssa. Ponyta. Oh. Hey, we lost! Gotta be better. How dare you beat us? Go away! Go! Whoa. Double battle with these trainers. Comes a trainer. Zach, are you ready? Let's do this. Jen, watch this. I'm going to use everything you've taught me. We got male and female ace trainers. Double team Jen and Zach. Oh gosh, the right you and a Kiritos. <laughs> Try Phantom Force. Just see how it works. Oh, this is our first Raichu. Okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise, they both attack. Oh, yay, Steven leveled up. Storm Toxic. I mean, it's not really better than Toxic Spike. But I've been considering getting rid of this. Because it just... Oh, my. Leaves the... Yeah, you won't learn Toxic. Alright, Phantom Force. Of course, it's not the most physical. We 
attacker. Or something more logical than that. Alright, fight just down. Nice, that gave a lot of experience. I guess I should mention Raichu's the evolved form of Pikachu. Joy-Con Drift grew to level 29, Public grew to level 39. And wants to learn Whirlpool, I think that's like Fire Spin, basically. Yeah. You're not gonna learn that. And then... Well, there goes the double team. I just got embarrassed in front of my little buddy here. Wow, someone that's even better than Jen! That gave me so much money, holy cow! Zach, I'm sorry. I'm feeling sorry for as your instructor. As your instructor. I don't care if I get to be the greatest trainer in the region. Still rather learn from Jen. Dang, this round has so many ace trainers, holy cow. Looks like we're getting close to done with the route, though. We need to have a lot of comp. Let's see if it's justified. Ugh, three trainers, says Ernest. Oh, a Mothum, that's a new Pokemon. Male Burmy evolve into that, regardless of their cloak. Shinkies. Alright, got these ace trainers down. Haha, <laughs> a total loss for me. She'd have the fun in the town. It's pretty amazing. Oh wow, wonder what's across this hog strip. Oh, a ninja boy. A ninja can use all sorts of cool techniques. And Ninja Boy Davy. Hmm, my ninja techniques failed to work. Don't feel too bad. There's a ninja gym leader. There's a ninja gym leader somewhere far away. Why should we give him a dev Tia there? So we can go along that bridge. We can also go along this bridge. Send you along this path. Ew, the optional path. Gives us a TM for Shadow Ball. We already know what that does because we have uh, trusty old um, Joy Chondria. Now we have Fighting Geek. But physique isn't something. Yeah, Paul, leveling up. And down goes Black Belt Adam. Ugwa! That was a weird noise you just made. Why? Why? Because my training wasn't enough? Maybe. It could just be bad. Wow! We need to disappear way you least expect us. Gone drift. I didn't expect to lose. Gotta expect the unexpected sometimes, kid. When I hide out like this, I think about what it must be like in Pokemon inside their Pokeballs. Hey, hey, we got a smoke ball. Um, that either makes it easier to escape or something. I'll teach you about the charms of third Pokemon. Ooh, Noctowl's a new Pokemon. Evolution of Hoot Hoot. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. They're both just third Pokemon. 
And I believe if you kill a Pokemon with Volt Switch, then you don't actually have to switch. Or uh, if you kill the last Pokemon with Volt Switch, then they don't actually switch. And there goes Brianna. Wow, I admit I'm quite surprised. Why? Does he think I'm not good? Aside of your battle, it's simply a wonder to watch. And... Wow! Oh, oh, hello. Me? You said someone so young? I dare say not! It's another one of the stronger trainer classes. Veteran. It's level 40. Now Shinkies is level 37. And Veteran Brian's down. Power of Youth. Start of. I'm sure it is. Somehow it makes me happy seeing a young yet sure footed trainer such as yourself. We got berries, but I don't know about that. We almost there. Alright, here we are. Whew. This is one of the longest recordings I've ever had. So I guess we'll have to save exploring Celestic Town for the next episode. Oh no, this is interesting. Let it see your Pokemon. Clearly likes you very much. You can have this. Oh. Uh, okay. It's about trust between the trainer and the Pokemon. D developing trust in each other is the key to victory. Well, let me lead you a place so off far off the beaten path. There's nothing to see here but some ancient Pokemon etchings. So I'm guessing we're gonna get some lore here. This Hades Town has been here since Sinnoh was made. Um, sure. I wonder if it's in Legends Arceus then. I haven't checked it out yet. I do intend on seeing it at... playing it at some point though. Seems interesting from the little bit I've seen. Anyway, yeah, that'll do it for this episode, and the next one will be exploring Celestic Town. Until next time, goodbye.